Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is an update and review two months after installation of the screen protector on my Z Fold 2. And since then I've received few questions about the screen protector. Therefore, I thought I'll do a quick update uh, with regards to how the screen protector is holding up in the last two months since I've installed the screen protector and also show how it really looks so those who have questions they can see for themselves. I just wanted to say this is not a promotion of this screen protector. This is just my personal experience and opinion that I'm sharing and also i had few comments with regards to i purchased my screen protector from so what i will do is leave a link in the description box if anyone is interested i would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for your kind support and also please do like comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already thank you so much so the question was how about the edge part of the middle screen crease area top and bottom edge is it perfectly stitched or are they slightly lifting i bought and installed the same screen protector but mine is the matte variant it got lifted up at both edges uh, i want to try the clear one like yours as it should be thinner i hope it won't have any lifted up areas okay so um it hasn't actually lifted anywhere uh, it's the uh, it's very thin so I guess that helps it stays uh, in place compared to the matte um, screen protector and the clarity is great if you remember from the original video I said about how um, the original factory one felt a bit sticky whereas this one feels like uh, glass almost really really um, nice so basically I just wanted to show it's been two months since the installation of my screen protector and uh, I must say it's been perfect uh, nothing's lifted as you can um, um, the viewer who asked about the middle screen crease part here um, as you can see here there is no crease if you look at the edge there and then if we go to this end it's still perfectly sitting all the way around uh, I must say um, the original factory screen protector did lift up in the middle uh, so this one looks like is actually better than the factory screen protector itself so I uh, we installed the screen protector around uh, mid-December and I uploaded the video around early January and now it's been just over two months and it's perfect so I just show you close it and you can see screen protector still sitting perfect um, with my previous notes I used uh, the stylus to do a lot of drawings so when this one uh, uh, I was quite disappointed it doesn't have a stylus so anyway I bought a stylus myself which I use um, this one uh, which really glides really well with the screen protector whereas the original factory one uh, it was quite I felt it was a rather sticky so uh, gliding was a little harder I guess um, so with this screen protector it really helps uh, it feels really good to use the stylus as well so I hope it helps um, those of you who have sent in comments uh, to understand uh, how much better this screen protector is compared to the factory one thank you so much to all of you who have commented in my last video I just wanted to mention that although the screen protector is perfect it's a little bit fragile when it comes to um, leaving nail marks if you can uh, it's quite difficult to um, show because it's so light but so if you can see this indentation here just just above my nail there that's a nail mark uh, there was quite a few of those um, around the screen but it seems to have self-healed some of them and some haven't yet so like this one and there's another one just around here but it's really really thin and light so it's difficult to show or focus on it um, but, but, but generally um, 
it's I think because it's a thinner version or much thinner than the matte screen protector it leaves the uh, nail scratch so I just wanted to tell you guys that um, and this big one the lighter scratches is self heals but this big one here that I was showing you um, that one was uh, quite a hard one because my baby jumped on me and my nail dug into it but it's just a uh, it seems to have got better than before but I think it's not going away so that might be a much deeper one so one of our viewers wanted to know uh, where I purchased this pen from and uh, for a link so what I will do is leave a link in the description box um, the pen is made out of aluminium it's quite heavy so it has a plastic round head and um, I am quite careful actually when I use it because it's so heavy in case I drop it on the screen but um, if anyone does want to know more about this pen please comment down below and I'll try to do a quick video about it. By the way I've only changed the main screen protector which is the most important screen of the phone and I didn't change the Screen, outside screen which still has the Samsung uh, factory screen protector on just there and that's because um, I, I, I don't have the need to change that screen protector so I didn't and this is the one, main one that I use quite a lot so I wanted to change this one this still is the factory Samsung factory screen protector here this is the only one that I've changed if you're interested in viewing the uh, screen protector installation video the link is above on the card So um, if you do have any question, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And thank you for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, do take care. Bye-bye.